I'm gonna show you how to set up your columns on Facebook ads to manage your data effectively. Let's go. You know, in every video, I give away one free business consulting call. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and comment down below young lords. That's all you have to do to win the call. I give the winner away on the next video. That's when you'll find out if you won the free business consulting call or not. What we do is we hop on a Zoom and we go over your store and any questions you have. We could go through your ads, whether you want to scale, go through Instagram influencers. We could do whatever you need help with. I got you. Let's scale your business and stick around to the end of the video to see if you were the winner from last video's consulting call giveaway. And we give away mad value in that Facebook group down below. We got over like 350 lords in there right now. We're growing like crazy. So hop in, smash that like button and let's go. Okay, lit. So what you want to do is you want to go over here to this window and drive it down and you want to make your own customized column right here and you're gonna click on that and we're just gonna X all of these out we're gonna start fresh what we're gonna start with is we're gonna type in delivery and that's gonna be our first one we're gonna make every column in order so just follow along and stay with me next we're gonna put budget and then after budget we're gonna have amount spent put that in there and after this, we're gonna have purchase conversion value. So you're gonna type in purchase and you're gonna go here and just click on the value. And on the right side, you're gonna uncheck all these boxes. After that, we're gonna input reach. After reach, we're gonna add CPM. And then we're gonna add your click through rate and we're gonna do CTR all. So what this does is it divides the number of impressions you get compared to the amount of clicks your ad gets. Usually like a 2% is a decent click through rate. I look for it two to three. You know you're doing really good if you see around five, six, seven and you get to like that 8% mark, but I've made profit with 2%. I've even made profit with a 1% CTR. So it's just kind of a guide to see where your ad lies. Next up, we're gonna add in our cost per unique link click. And you don't want to do just regular link click because one person could click on your ad like 10 times and then it would count for 10 link clicks. What unique link click does is say 10 different people click on your ad three times. You'll only get 10 unique link clicks because 10 different people clicked on your ad. And after the cost, you're going to want to do unique link clicks just to see the total amount. After unique link clicks, we're going to do unique cost per add to carts. So we're going to go to add to cart and we're going to click on cost so that it's your cost per add to cart down here. And then we're also going to add in your total unique add to carts. So we have cost per add to cart, unique add to carts. Next, we're going to do our cost per purchase. And we're just going to click on cost right here under purchases and you have cost per purchase. Then we're going to add in our total purchases. And you're going to scroll down. You're going to uncheck all these boxes. The reason why we uncheck all the boxes is because they're nonsense and we just want to track the normal amount of purchases we get from our website. And after that, the last one is purchase ROAS. So we are going to hit total on this. And there you go. We're just going to uncheck website purchase ROAS and it's going to be the regular ROAS. So going to the top, we have campaign name, delivery, budget, amount spent, purchases, conversion value. We're gonna uncheck all three boxes, this one, this one, and that one. Then we have reach, CPM, CTR, cost per unique link click, unique link clicks, cost per add to cart, unique add to cart, cost per purchase, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. We have purchases, uncheck all these boxes. We have purchase ROAS, return on ad spend, you're going to uncheck this one. And then when you're done adding in all those columns, you're going to save it as a preset. And what you're going to do is have it as Lord Ecom preset. And then you're just going to hit apply right here. And I already have one, so it says replace. I'm going to replace it. And then over here in the column, you should have your new preset down here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the preset and you could actually set it as default. So every time your ads manager opens up, it's just gonna open up right to that preset and it'll save you a little bit of time every time you dive into the ads manager. Now it's time for the winner of the business consulting call from the last video. And the winner for that business consulting call is Eva K 
or Ewa K or Ewa K, however you pronounce it, congratulations, yo. Just hit me up in Instagram. I left the link down below, so just send me a DM or something. And whenever you're free, we can schedule the call. So I hope this quick little video was able to help you guys out. And if it did, smash that like button. But that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you for watching a ton. And as always, stay beast, my lords. Peace.